Hello, welcome once again. Uh, about a fuel pump, very important circuit, obviously. We have to first find main components. When you look at a schematic, you look for main components. What catches your attention right away? The first thing catches my attention is the fuel pump. Next thing is a relay. <clears throat> Next thing is the computer board. Now that we have the main components that we're dealing with, that's what we concentrate on how they are connected together. We don't worry about the wiring. We don't worry about the fuse right now. We just worry about main components, one, two, and three. Again, this is part of a computer, by the dotted line. Pin six of connector C2. Uh, connector C2, terminal B7 over here. So let's start first. First of all, when there is a relay, we know there is one side that is controlled by sometimes a computer or sometimes there is directly 12 volts going to ground as you see over here we have a ground so that means on this side if we have the ground that means on the other side we need 12 volts you don't see any 12 volts over here you don't see any fuses or anything you know why what you do see is a toggle switch that toggle switch is where inside a computer the first thing that comes to your mind when you see that is you know what the computer has control of 12 volts for the relay. That's the first thing that you should come to your mind. Because there is a toggle switch internally. The dotted line means this is everything is inside. And it looks like it's being toggled back and forth, back and forth. Upon startup, when the, when the power control module received the signal that the starter motor ha has uh, um, turned, the, crank, the crankshaft is starting to turn, there's something called the crankshaft uh, sensor. So that has a very big purpose. When you crank it over here, you're going to have the first the battery. You, there's no battery over here. Only there is a computer, but we know it's connected to the battery, even though it doesn't say anything over here. <clears throat> the computer turns on the 12 volts from the necessary, obviously, the battery, which is not here. 12 volts goes here. This is flipped over. Now 12 volts goes here. Current can flow through this to ground. <clears throat> this is based on the, the fact that you started the car at least. Well, if you started the car with the starter and the flywheel and the crankshaft, you got to get some fuel pressure going. <clears throat> fuel pressure comes from the fuel pump, obviously. <clears throat> then we worry about other issues. <clears throat> so then, therefore, we have 12 volts going here. This is, is good for us because we have now a magnetic field. This magnetic field, if I pull away, you see this, the magnetic field is over here, activating this, current flows from here, through here, through here, through the ground. This will flip this switch, the contacts, to the other direction. So now you follow the green. See the green? You follow the green, current now flows from this, which is hot at all times, in run, a start, or accessories, anything. Always have 12 volts over here. There's no switch over here to turn this off. It's always hot. Therefore, current is always flowing here, 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 into this terminal, coming out this terminal, going into this, which is in, as you can see, and this, this is in a fuse box panel over here by the dotted line. See power distribution over here? In the fuse, bo in the fuse box, basically. And now you come out from the fuse box to, to the connector with the terminal F1, going into another connector over here, B, and another one, C. This will activate the fuel pump. So basically, the computer controls the relay. The relay controls the fuel pump. If you have no computer signal turning this on because you did not start the starter motor didn't do the start of the fly or whatever or it didn't turn it didn't turn over guess what you're not gonna have any fuel pump and that means you have no fuel pump pressure <clears throat> so therefore he's the boss again again we rely on the computer to turn on the fuel pump how important this is this, this concept as far as voltages are concerned <clears throat> when this is when this is active or when this is flipped over, we have 12 volts over here. We need 12 volts over here. First thing, when this is conducting, current flows here to ground. How much do we have? Zero volts here. 
If we have 12 volts here, zero volts here, how much do we have across the fuel pump relay? 12 volts. That's good enough for us to start and to flip this, the contacts to the other position. So we have 12 here, zero here. How much do we have over here? We have 12 volts over here. We have 12 volts over here through a fuse. We have 12 volts over here, just a wire. We have 12 volts over here, very important. That we know we have 12 volts over here, very important. <clears throat> Why? It's just going through a switch. We didn't lose any voltage from here to here. It's just a switch. How about from here to here? We have 12 volts here, 12 volts over here. Again, it's just a gray wire. See the gray? Just a gray wire going through a connector, coming through another one to the fuel pump, another connector. That's okay. We didn't lose any voltage. 12 volts here, 12 volts here. What about this? To ground, a physical, physical ground. A black wire, a black wire over here going to a physical ground G402. Basically, we started with 12 volts. We end up with 12 volts over here. Very important. <clears throat> now, as far as troubleshooting is concerned, I made several videos about how to test relays in circuit. Do not take relays out of the circuit. Do not jump this point to this point. I received a comment from someone that he jumped someone and afterwards he had problems afterwards. You have to make sure you jump. If you do jump, if that's what you prefer, jump the switches, not the coil part of it. You will fry the computers. Be very careful. <clears throat> that's why I put a, if you look at the, vi at the video, how to test relays for fuel pump. First thing that I did is I put a, a piece of wire right here. If this measures 12 volts, what does that tell you and what does it tell me? If this measures 12 volts, that tells me this switch is in which position? In this position, the rest position, or the active position? Think about that. 12 volts over here tells me I am connected to what? To the to, Through the fuse to the battery. That means it is activated. Number one, it tells me the fuse is good. Number two tells me that this is working. If this would not be working, I would not have 12 volts over here. How much would I have? I would have zero volts. I would not be connected to anything. So this tells me that this is working, telling me that this is working, that I have 12 volts over here. What else? Tells me most of all, very important, the computer, the computer toggled the switch for the fuel pump relay to give 12 volts to the relay to begin with. That's the most important concept that you have to come out with in this video. <clears throat> this 12 volts in one shot, if you look at the video, I go and I put my, my uh, wire over here and I measure 12 volts. That's all I have to do. That means the problem is from here to here or maybe the fuel pump or maybe the ground. That's it. Why buy by putting over here my multimeter and measuring over here, I took out this out of the, the, the circuit. I took out this out of the circuit, the computer itself. I took out the ground for this in one shot. I always go to this part of the circuit to measure it, not over here. You measure over here, you're always going to measure 12 volts regardless. You know why? Because it's just going through a fuse. If I have zero volts over here, now, this is the concept that you have to try to absorb. If you understand this concept, you will understand the video of how I tested it. I have zero volts over here. What's your next strategy? <clears throat> Where would you go? You have three other terminals. You have a signal from a PCM, a module turning you on. Where is your next approach? <clears throat> My next approach is, Right here, 12 volts. I went over here at zero volts. Going over here will tell me nothing because I'm going to have 12 volts regardless if this is on or off. Doesn't tell me enough information. I go over here, I measure 12 volts. That at least tells me I'm getting a computer signal to turn on this switch to give 12 volts. So I take the computer, boom, out of the equation. The computer is good. Very important. <clears throat> then I go over here, <clears throat> make sure 12 volts, make sure this is conducting. How do I know this is conducting? Because I go to the other side and I measure ground, zero volts. That means there's 12 volts across here. If there is resistance on the ground, maybe I go over here 12 volts, or maybe over here I measure two volts, one volt, whatever. That means I have resistance on the ground. 
First go over here. That tells you all of this is working in one shot. I'm left with this to the fuel pump. You don't want to go to the fuel pump. Obviously, obviously it's in the fuel tank. And it's a hard access point to get to. So by going over here, I eliminate the fuse. I eliminate the relay. I eliminate the computer module to turn this on to give me 12 volts in the first place. Very important concept. Please go to my channel. I'm going to make another video. Joe Electronic Schematics for Auto. You will see much more videos hands-on. And this channel, Automotive Electronic Schematics by Joseph, which I'm trying to build up, hopefully 